Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, quickly, I want to talk about the Hanta virus. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. The Hanta virus or Hanta virus, okay? Um, and I just heard about this virus. Apparently, it's not anything that's brand new, but I just heard about it. A guy in China died on a bus today with that virus, okay? And they're saying that the virus is... Uh, very prevalent or is, is, is more common in uh, mice, okay? So if you have contact with the mice or a mouse or their feces or their urine and things of that nature, then you could possibly get the virus. Now, their sand is not anything to worry about. Of course, amid everything going on with the current virus that um, that has been sweeping the world as of yet or a as of now, you know, naturally something like this makes a, uh, a a big story. Now, the reason I want to talk about it is because, like I said, if I have a hunch about something, then, you know, um, while I I'm not a fortune teller, okay, um, sometimes if I have a hunch to talk about something, then that's what I feel like I need to do if that makes sense. So, um, with this virus, now the reason I think it's important is because to talk about it and warn people of this particular virus is because the nature of it that they, that they have, uh, came out and, and, and expressed that mice, okay, rodents. And so it's probably not just mice, it's rodents, period. Okay. Um, that carry this virus. Okay. So while I assume being that there's never been any big deal about it in the news and things of that nature, that it hasn't been an issue as of yet. But the thing about it, or issue worth, you know, an issue worth expressing on a, on a large level as far as presenting it to the, the nation or the world through media, okay? Um, the thing is, it, it, it's kind of crazy because... You would think it would be really uh, much more prevalent being that it's in rodents like mice, rats, and things of that nature. And those things are uh, pretty prominent in society, right? Especially in bigger cities, okay? And we're not even talking, we're talking about one of the most sanitized place in places in the world, which is America, okay? And even in some of our bigger cities, we have an um, infestation problem of rodents such as mice and rats, okay and and uh roaches and, and you know and so on so um you can only imagine other places in the world that's more third world or that's just not as caught up and as sanitized and as um as clean as america okay then they probably have an issue with this much more too see the thing about it guys just because you don't hear about something or don't see something doesn't mean it's not prevalent and going on in the world, okay? Um, you have to realize that most of us guys, most of us have never even been out the country, okay? Then it's a lot of us who never even been out your state, you know what I mean? So you don't know really at the end of the day, if you can't watch TV, if you can't get on the internet and find out what's going on, you have no real way of knowing what's really going on. You have to take that into consideration. OK, so if someone's just not telling you about something, then you just don't know about it. If it's too far away, it could be a pandemic right now in um, in Australia. OK, with this disease um, per, per se. And unless you get online and, and look up Australian news or you get on, um, you know, you watch TV and, and watch the news. And unless they're reporting on it, you would never know what's going on. It could be literally millions of people dying over there. You know what I mean? And you just wouldn't know about it. So with that said, being that mice, rats and other rodents are so prevalent. OK, especially in um and and uh communities that are not as wealthy okay and not as sanitized okay i think this is something that needs to be um that needs to be paid attention to and 
that needs um I need to give a heads up on and other people, okay? Because this is not something that's just oh that's too far fetched. That's likely not to affect me. Well, if you live in uh plenty of people in New York, plenty of people anywhere, okay, anywhere in a um in an urban area, okay, a city, okay, you live amongst a lot of rodents, okay, and if rodents can carry this disease, okay, then um. And if it's killing the guy on a bus, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he had pre-existing conditions. We don't know. And I don't know anything. About, I haven't even researched this yet because that's not the point. I haven't even researched this um, disease or anything like that. That's not the point. So the, the point is if someone did die on a bus, okay, with it, then it's probably lethal. Unless he was already extremely sick, about to die anyway, it's probably something that's lethal or that can be lethal, okay? And it's not something that's far-fetched. We all have to deal with rodents, mice, rats, and things of that nature. So if it's out here now, it's out here now, okay? And that's something that we need to take into consideration. So once again, I reiterate anything that I always have been reiterating on my channel. You know, um, try to boost your immune system. It is kind of late in the game now. Boosting your immune system takes a little bit of time, but do the best you can. Start as soon as you can. If you've been starting, you know, eating healthy foods, exercising, you know, getting your vibration up, getting your frequency up, thinking right, doing uh, doing things that is healthy, okay? If you've been doing that, then you've pro you're probably in a good space right now. Um, if you haven't, do the best you can. You know, uh, you pray to the Most High, and you do the best you can now, okay? Um but don't be I the thing is this may not be an issue this may not be anything or it, it may end this end up may end up blowing up okay because um like I said we just have too many mice and rats and things like that um for it to not be a factor so uh and there's kind of no way that you can um not be affected by urine I know that cuz they said like urine and poop and things like that but let's just say you have mice you know, you could be exposed to the urine and things like that, not even know it. Um, you know, um, if you have a mouse, one mouse in your house can urinate and, you know, and that can be in your air, in the air in your home. You know, it can poop. And then let's just say if you really have an issue, a problem, like people who live in the projects, people who live, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in a, um, I grew up in a, um, in enough in 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 an in, in area where you know rodents things like roaches was was uh was common okay but these bugs do carry different diseases and viruses you know what i'm saying and things like that so it is something to take into consideration which is why you want to keep your immune system up because at this point it's not about um trying to you know quarantine yourself as much as it's about you know being staying healthy and having an immune system that can fight all right, guys, hopefully this was a helpful video. Peace.